still have a little bit of ice left. As you notice where the ice is just disappearing now. All the time that we had ice, the temperature remained the same even though we were adding heat into our system. The last ice cube disappeared right here just as the temperature started to rise. I'm going to keep heating the liquid water and watch the temperature change. As we had ice and we were adding heat to it, as long as it was solid ice, the temperature didn't change. Right at this point, where the last ice cube melted and it was all liquid, we could now start to gain temperature. So all this energy that we were putting in here into the ice was just to change, change the phase from solid to liquid. Once it became a liquid, now that thermal energy is being added to the liquid water and raising its temperature. started down here with ice, as long as we, we kept inputting heat, but as long as it was solid ice, all the heat energy put into the system here was to change the phase from solid to liquid. Right at this point, where the last ice cube disappeared, it all turned into liquid water. Now the energy put in was put in as thermal energy to raise the temperature of the liquid water. Right around this point, in the hot, around 70 degrees centigrade, we just start to see steam forming. And that's the little particles of water with enough energy to escape the surface of the water. Not a lot of them yet, because we're not, up near the, we're not at the boiling point of water yet, but it's hot enough that some of the molecules, some of the particles of water can escape the surface. Now as we approach the boiling point of water, again, when it was ice, all the energy being added was going to change the phase from solid to liquid. When the last ice cube melted, that is when the heat added to the system was allowed to raise the temperature of the now liquid water, being added as thermal energy. To get up to this point, right now it's boiling. It's just starting to boil rapidly. And if you notice, right at this point, it's going to shallow out once it is reach the boiling point of water, the temperature won't go any higher. All of the energy being added is now being added as energy of a phase change again. And the temperature of the water will not increase until all of the water has been, liquid water has been changed to water vapor. And then the water vapor could be heated to a higher temperature. So this plateau here was the phase change from solid to liquid. This temperature rise is the thermal energy increasing in the liquid water. And then this third section, this second plateau of our graph, is going to be the phase change from liquid to gas.